two, one. Hey everyone, I'm Cole. What you just saw was the first launch of the Horizon 3 rocket. The launch profile is to ignite an Etsy's 15 rocket motor and hit an apogee of roughly 400 meters above ground level. Then the parachutes would deploy and the rocket would drift down safely. We have been building this rocket since early January when we got our first 3D printer. Featuring an advanced parachute ejection system and an avionics bay, it is the most complex vehicle we have ever built at Delta Space Systems. The Horizon 3 is a 38mm rocket made out of thick-walled cardboard tube and held together with M3.5 and M5 screws. We also use Matter Hackers PETG to 3D print the fin can, avionics bay, and nose code for the rocket. In the stability aspect of the flight, the Horizon 3 has four carbon fiber reinforced fins, which are much stronger and more aerodynamic than the old fiberglass fins used in the Horizon 2. To make the ascent even straighter, we will 3D print our own motor mount instead of buying our own. Since the tolerances weren't just right, the motor shifted slightly during the flight, which made it pitch over, as seen here before the launch. Most likely what happened was there was an overpressurization in the injection tube. The next part of the Horizon will use a much better designed parachute ejection system that has also been tested too. This is the same type of parachute ejection system that is also used on the Xenon and Future Velocity rockets. Also, the Horizon 4 will use our new Gamma Avionics system that will make its parachute ejection system more reliable and it will allow us to record flight data. Finally, our launch pad needs to be redesigned since the rocket burned a hole in the metal plate during liftoff. We will adapt our new launch pad, Launch Complex 1, to be able to hold a horizon as well. This is just one step to completing the next generation of rocket technology. I'm Cole. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next launch.